time for Wine Wednesday. A new tasting room in McVinville is offering some of the best wine Oregon has to offer. In a really cool space too. The Grove, located in the city's downtown, is home to a pair of acclaimed wineries committed to sustainable winemaking. Joining us on the couch with more on that process and their new tasting room is Rudy Marchese with Montenor Estate and Landlines Estates. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank morning. you for being Thanks for joining here. us. So let's first talk a little bit about the, the story of, of Montenor Estate and landlines and how this has all kind of come together under one roof. Well, Montenor is an old brand, if you will, old winery, uh, kind of came in the second wave of pioneers. Started in 1982 by the Graham family and uh, south of Forest Grove planted a lot of acres of grapes and became mm -hmm. kind of a big brand early on. Um, I came in in 98 to help them get national distribution and started working with them. I'd been in the industry elsewhere. And uh, just one thing led to another. I started doing more and more work and ended up uh, becoming president of the winery and then eventually bought it in 2006. And um, we made a shift at that time, as you're saying, towards sustainability and got certified organic and then started farming biodynamically. And that brought us to where we are today, really in a lot of what we do and the kind of wines we make. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. amazing. So this new space, we're talking about how McMinnville really is becoming kind of a hub for wine country. Talk to us about this new space, what people can expect there. Yeah, you're absolutely right. McMinnville is kind of becoming the capital of the wine of, in Willamette Valley. Um, kind of like St. Helena, I was there, there last week in Napa. And a lot of new restaurants, new tasting rooms. And we, you know, we had always been off the beaten path, up by Forest Grove. We're not kind of where the where the people go to visit wineries. So we wanted to get into the hub of it with this new tasting room. And uh, we're right on Main Street. We took over the old Cornerstone Coffee Space, which was a big space, mm -hmm. old brick building, um, entries on both ends, and just kind of opened it up, lots of light, and, and just to create a nice, happy environment, yeah. comfortable environment for people to come in and enjoy both Montenor and our and our Landlines wines. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is. It's a beautiful space. I've stopped in a couple times. One of my friends is a, a member there. So it's just a, it's a beautiful spot right in the middle of Vicmanville to come enjoy some great wine. Uh, we have to brag on you for a little bit here because you are okay. kind of one of the fathers of biodynamics in, in Oregon. Uh, you've been a biodynamic farming mentor for a lot of winemakers. So talk a little bit about biodynamic farming, how it plays into winemaking and, and its role in sustainable farming. Well, that's a big topic. I just came back from three days in Napa where we had a conference and we talked all, the, all about that. Yeah. Uh, you know, initially it was about um, farming to get healthy vines, which results in better wine. The old adage, you know, the vines need to suffer uh, is not true. We don't want our vines to suffer. We want them to be happy and healthy and producing good fruit. And recognizing uh, at that time that the, the sort of what we call conventional farming with chemical sprays and all that was degrading the health of the vineyard. So mm -hmm. uh, in 2001, we converted to um, organic practices, which uh, um, you know started us down the path. But I had always been interested in biodynamics because in an earlier career, I, I uh, worked in a large import company and. Um, screen the wines that were coming in for distribution. Mm -hmm. And I always kept noticing that these wines that were biodynamic had some special quality to them. Mm. It was really caught my attention and was really enjoyable. So I was able to take a course at a little college uh, on the East Coast, you know, sort of back and forth, a lot of frequent flyer miles, and um, <laughs> started adapting those things to our, um, to our practices at Montenor, and we saw yeah. some great results. Yeah. So over the years, I, you know, I uh, just wanted to share this, and there were other people in the valley. You know, Cooper Mountain was very already on it and doing yeah. it. You know, There's I worked with. There's been a few wineries that have Beau kind of followed Beaufort did suit. it, yeah, and, and yeah. Doug at Brick House was a very early adapter. Yeah. So a lot of us got together, had sort of study groups, and then over the years, um, I really just wanted to spread the word, you mm -hmm. know, because it's a great way to farm. Well, Rudy, I hate to, I hate to yeah. cut you off. We're almost up against oh, the break. Oh, I'll talk for an hour about that. We, I would love to continue <laughs> the will. conversation with you. Um, you need to come try these wines to see what's in the bottle, that special sauce that he's talking about. It's great. So, again, Montenor.com, LandlineEstates.com to learn more. And go visit the Grove in McMinnville to see their full selection. Cheers to a wonderful Wine Wednesday, everybody.